Hi everyone, my name is Rivka Rosenberg. People call me Rivki. Today I will teach you a very special lesson. The lesson is called homophones and the vocabulary is from band two. Let's begin. Can you identify, read, understand, and use band two homophones? Can you tell the difference between two homophones? You will be able to do so by the end of this lesson. The stages to learning new vocabulary words. Exposure, we will read a story with pictures and you will be exposed to the new vocabulary. Practice, we will practice of course. Production, we will do a few writing activities and a review. What are homophones? Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings and different spellings. So they sound the same. For example, sun and sun. When I say sun and you don't know the context, you don't know if it's sun shemesh or sun ben shel. So the words sound alike, sound, sun and sun, they sound alike, but they have different meanings. One is sun in the sky and one is sun uh, of parent, two parents and a different spelling, of course. One is with a U and one is with an O. So these are homophones. Let's look at more homophones. Week and week. W-E-E-K is Shavua. I go to school six days a week. Week like this is Chalash. The dog in yellow, this dog here, he's very, very weak. He's not as strong as this dog. So weak, weak, they sound the same, different meaning and different spelling, of course. One is W-E-E-K, Shavua, and one is W-E-A-K, which is Chalash. Eight and eight. Of course, you don't pronounce this G. This is the number eight. I have eight cats at home. Do you have eight cats at home? And eight is the past of eat. The dog ate my homework. I'm sure everyone knows this um, sentence, the dog ate my homework. Usually students uh, say that to their teacher. The dog ate my homework. Ate yesterday, achal, is the past of eat. So eight and eight, homophones again. Way and way. Here is way, I weigh myself every morning. I go on a scale, this is a scale, it's called a scale, mishkal, and I weigh myself. And this is weigh, derech. He is sleeping in a funny way. This boy is sleeping in a very funny way. Usually you sleep in a bed, not uh, in the cupboard. So weigh and weigh, these are homophones again. Of course, don't pronounce the G. It's pronounced way, just like this word here. Way, way. One is mishkal, lishkol, and one is derech. Wait, wait, and wait. Here, these are weights. Rami lifts weights like this at the gym. Weights. I lift one weight. Rami lifts two weights. And wait. Please wait for me. I'm sure you know this one. Please wait for me. I want to go to the mall with you. Lechakot. And this, as we saw before, it's to weigh someone. I got on a scale to check my weight. I go on a scale, this is called a scale, mishkal, to check my weight. Libdoketa mishkal sheli. Which and which. Did you know that they're written like this? W-I-T-C-H is which machshefa. The witch rides her broom. And which like this is which way should I go? Eze derech lifchor. Eze. Which way? Lifchor. Homophones again. W-I-T-C-H is machshefa. And this is which way should I go? Be'eze derech lifchor. Meat and meat. M-E-A-T is basar. I like to eat meat once a week. So I make a hamburger on Mondays. And this is meat to meet people. Let's meet and talk. You see these people? They are meeting and talking. 
pear and pear, more homophones. Pear, Rina has a pair of red shoes. Pear is a zug. Here it's zug, and pear like this is the fruit pear. A gum likes to eat one pear every day. One pear every day. These are pears, like this. P-E-A-R is the fruit. P-A-I-R is zug. Now, I have three pictures here for you. One, two, and three, and three sentences. A, B, and C. I'd like you to match the picture to its sentence. Let's read the sentences first. Wait to hear the weight of the meat. This is the sentence. Wait to hear the weight of the meat. B. Dana wears her pair of pear shoes every day. And C. After my week at the gym, I am so weak, halasha, I can't move. So try to match the number to the letter, and I'll be back here. Let's look at your answers together. So, this picture here, this pair of pair of shoes, is of course B. Dana wears her pair of pair of shoes every day. These shoes are in a shape of pears, a gasim. How about this? The meat is on the scale. Wait to hear the weight of the meat. Wait, before you buy the meat, you have to see how much it weighs. So, 2A. And this is the gym schedule. So after my week at the gym, I went, the entire week I went to the gym, I'm so weak, so tired, I can't move. So this is 3C. I hope you answered as I did. Now let's complete the words here. You have words, pair, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, and E. So you have pair, weight, week, to meet and eight. And here you have my blank of shoes. It's time blank our guest. Please blank for me. I am too blank to move. And sorry, I blank the last piece of cake. Try to complete the sentences with the words in green. And you can match the number to the letter, the letter to the number. And I'll be back here very soon after.
let's look at your answers together. My pair of shoes, of course. P-A-I-R. My pair, Hazug Shali. It's time to meet our guest. To meet is lehakir, or to, to, uh, to see, to meet them. Please wait for me, lehakot, W-A-I-T. And I am too weak to move. I'm very, very weak, halasha. Sorry, I ate the last piece of cake. The I ate is the past of eat. Now let's read a story. Once a week, Eve, that's her name because it's a capital E, once a week, Eve has a party. This week, it is a costume party. All her friends will come in funny costumes. You see, this one is like a skeleton. These are funny costumes. Eve will wear a witch costume. This is Eve with a funny pair of shoes. Eve will make meat, here is the meat, and eight salads, eight kinds of salads, and the cake. She couldn't decide which salad to make, so she made a vegetable and pear salad. This is the vegetable and pear salad. Vegetable, yerakot, pear, agassim. So this is what Eve made for her party. Meat and eight salads and a pear salad. A party is fun and it is always a chance to meet new people. Lehakir anashim chadashim. And to eat good food. Her guests ate all the food. Look, they left the empty plates and there was nothing left for Eve. Now Eve is very weak and it is hard for her to begin her week at work because she didn't have food probably last night. Eve can't wait for her next party. Now let's try to match the missing words to their sentences. So let's put here numbers one, two, three, and four. We have which pair we can meet. Let's look at the sentences. A, every blank, Eve makes a party. She prepares blank and salads. She did not know blank meat to buy, so Sam helped her choose. Sam is Eve's good friend. He is making his special blank and lettuce salad. Yummy. Try to match the word to the sentence, and I'll be back here very soon. Let's look at your answers together. Every week, Eve makes a party. She prepares meat and salads. Remember, she prepared eight salads. She did not know which meat to buy, so Sam helped her choose. Sam is Eve's good friend. He is making his special pear and lettuce salad. Yummy. I hope you answered like this. Now we will go on break, but don't forget to come back.
Welcome back. Before the break, we spoke about homophones. Do you remember what they are? Homophones are two words which sound the same, but have a different meaning and look different. Let's look at a few homophones. We have meat, meat, weight, weight, week, week, which, which, and pair, pair. Let's play a game. Choose the correct word to match the homophone in the picture. So what do we have here? We have hamburger. That's, of course, meat. Now, how do, how do we write meat? M-E-A-T or M-E-E-T or M-E-A-N? Let's try. How about M-E-E-T? No, of course, M-E-A-T. So meat is M-E-A-T, meat basar. Choose the correct word from here. What is this? This is a scale that you go on the scale to weigh yourself. If you know, want to know your weight, is it W-E-T? No. Is it W-A-I-T? No. Is it W-E-I-G-H-T? Of course, yes. But weight and weight are homophones. They are pronounced the same. This weight and this weight are pronounced the same. What do you see in the picture? Of course, this is a witch. How do you rewrite witch? Is it W-H-I-C-H? Hmm, no, try again. Is it W-I-T-C-H? Yes, great job. And this is watch. That's definitely not this. What do we see here? Is it weak, W-E-E-K? Is it W-E-A-K or is it W-A-K-E? This is wake, so it's not this. How about this one? No, this is week chalash, and this is week shavua, W-E-E-K. This one and this one are the homophones. What is this? Pear, agas. How do we write pear? P-A-I-R? No, this is pair of shoes, pair zug. How about this one? Pair? No. Of course, it's pair, P-E-A-R. Pair agas is P-E-A-R. Now you have here on the bottom pairs of words. Pairs of words, zugot. Here is another homophone. So we have pairs and pair. We have which and which, week and week, eight and eight, and meat and meat. Try to match the missing pairs to the words. But let's put here letters, A, B, C, D, and E. And here, one, two, three, four, five. Let's read the sentences first. Would you like to blank and go to a blank restaurant for dinner? I bought a blank of new shoes today in the color green like blank. Tom had a long blank, so he is too blank to go out now. Blank blank flies on a broom. This is a question. Blank blank flies on a broom? This one or that one? The, the blank mice, mice zechbarim, blank the pieces of cheese, gvina. This is gvina and this is achbar, achbarim. Mouse, mice. Try to match the missing pairs of words to their sentences. And I'll be back here very soon.
Let's review your answers. Would you like to meet Lipagesh to go to a meat restaurant for dinner? I bought a pair of new shoes today in the color green like pears. Tom had a long week, so he is too weak to go out now. Which witch, Eze Machshefa, flies on a broom? This one or that one? The eight mice, Shmonata Achbarim, ate the pieces of cheese. I hope you answer like this. Now I'd like you to do this exercise in your notebook. You have here homophones, pictures of homophones, for example, and I'd like you to write one sentence for each picture using all the homophones. So you have here pair, pair. We, have, we don't have which, which, but you have it here. We have week, week. We have weight, weight, and meet, meet. We have meet, and we have to meet like this, then we have eight, um, A-T-E, and here we have eight, the number eight. Try to write one sentence for each picture using all the homophones. And I'll be back here. I hope you had a chance to do this activity, but if not, you can always do it after the lesson. I wanted you to write one sentence for each picture using all the homophones. So week, for example, week Shavua, week Chalash, like here. Here is weight, weight and weight. This is meat and meat. This is meat and meat. Here is eight and eight and pair and pair. So now it's the end of the lesson and I'd like to review what we did up until now. We started off the lesson, let me go back here. We started off the lesson by explaining what uh, homophones are. They are words that sound alike but have different meanings and different spellings. For example, son, son. So words that sound alike but are different in meaning and in spelling. For example, week, week. Week Shavua, week Chalash, eight, eight, the number eight, and the past of the word of the verb eat. Way, way, way to weigh yourself, to know how much you weigh, Mishkal, and way, Derech, like he is sleeping in a funny way, or uh, do you know the way to the airport? Derech to the airport. Wait, wait, wait. Which Machshefa and which? 
meet meat, meat to meet people, and meat um, basar. Actually, a clue to remember meat like this is when you meet people, you look at them with your eyes, and the E-E -E looks like eyes. They look like your eyes. The E, it, you can remember, they look like two E's. When you meet people, you look at, at them with your eyes. So this is a clue to remember meet, meet. Pair, pair of red shoes, zug, and pair, agasim. And then we match the picture to the sentence. We completed this exercise with the sentences. We read a story about a party, Eve's party, that she uh, wore a witch costume with a funny pair of shoes. And we also learned what she made for the party. She made meat, ate salads and a cake, and of course a pear salad. And she had nothing left after the party that she had difficulty working because she was so weak without food. And she is hopeful, she's waiting for the next party. Then we completed this missing word sent, uh, exercise. After the break, we played a game. We played the homophones game. Uh, this was meet, M-E-A-T. This is, of course, wait, like this, G-H. We don't pronounce the G, we say wait. This is, of course, which, W-I-T-C-H. Week, W-E-E-K. Pair, agas, P-E-A-R. And then we match the missing pairs of words. And at the end, I wanted you to complete this exercise writing one sentence with each picture using the, both homophones. So now it's the end of the lesson, and by now you can identify, read, understand, and use band two homophones and tell the difference between two homophones. So the lesson today was about homophones from vocabulary band two. My name is Rivka Rosenberg, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.